I'm Zach. Tonight, we're making a brand new video about Field Peace products. I hope that you enjoy the new video. There'll be many more about this subject. I hope you enjoy the latest video. Please enjoy the video. Well, hi guys, I'm here with my my best gal, Mal Pal here. Hey. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about Field Peace. We have the Field Peace SC66 right here. And you see, it's just big enough to cover your own daughter's face. The SC660 <laughs> uh, it has a lot of features. We talked about it last time on the first look. Right now, we're just going to look at some of the wireless features, not the job link stuff. Just we're going to see about hooking it up with my old. See, look at that. That's perfect. My old <laughs> SC57 meter. So you can link these two together as well to get wireless measurements from a different part of the job. We're going to take a quick look at that. And then we'll get into some of the job link stuff later and some of the distance measurements with the new SC660 as well. Guys, we have the 660 here and then the SC57 here. Both of those are wireless field piece meters. Now the 660 works with job link, which we're gonna go into a little bit later, which is the S-Man 460s, the JL2, and the SDP2. But you can also get wireless measurements from the wireless transmitters. And here's an example of one of those. I have it with this is the wireless transmitter here, which you can broadcast to either one of these meters. So what we're going to do is we're going to link these two up, and I'm going to show you that even from meter to meter, you can send measurements. So you can send electrical measurements from the SC57 outside to the 660. If you didn't want to use the whole job link setup, you can use different modules of the field piece wireless to build a custom setup, which I really like. I think that's a great idea. So we're going to take this one to receive because I've already paired these up by hitting the sync and holding them on both for one second and then it'll link them together. But let's say we have voltage. And we're linked up with zero and zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the wall here and I'm going to stick my electrical leads. Guys, I switched the meters from the other side because this one doesn't quite reach. I'm going to move it over here to an outlet and I'm going to take an electrical reading from this outlet is going to broadcast it to the SC660. We're going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it. All right, I'm heading over to the outlet and we're going to put a lead in both sides, measuring neutral to hot. And you can see it says 124.7. You can't really see it on my meter, but it's broadcasting over about just two or three feet. We're going to see what kind of distance we get here in a second when we take the meters outside. And guys, me and Mally are outside. We have the two meters. We're going to link them up again. I have it on receive and I'm going to put this one on Fahrenheit. We have 62 degrees outside. This one's also showing 62 now because they are linked up. I'm going to keep the SC660 right here and old Mallory is going to run all the way down to the other side which is right around 215 feet. We backed up a little bit so it's going to be a little bit over 215 feet. All right Mallory are you ready? Let's make sure you leave your stick here, Mallory. Okay. All right, you ready? Go! Let's see if she stays connected. Stop when you hit the fence up there. Right now, we're still connected. Mallory is such a good support. She helps me on a lot of my experiments. I'm a 67.4 out today is awful nice. There she goes all the way to the fence. We're still connected. Haven't dropped out a single time yet. 67.4. She made it all the way there, 215 feet. You can come on back. She made it all the way to the other side, which is 215 feet, linking up meter to meter, which is really good. We might try some through the wall stuff next, but the distance works really well. <laughs> Guys, don't mind Mallory's wheezing. She's exercised quite a bit today. If I did that same activity, I would already be dead. Okay. <laughs> We're linked up 67.4. Mallory's going to do the same test we did last week. What? She's going to take what? this meter 
and we're gonna put it over in the refrigerator and close the door. Go ahead, Mallory. We should see the temperature start dropping. Did you close the door? Is the lead in the refrigerator as well? Because it still says 67.4, so I'm a little surprised. Is the whole thing in there, the wire and everything? Okay. Let's see if we can't take a walk, see how far we can go with this. Well, we were making our journey, but looks like there's something in the way that we can't get by. It's the most ferocious of all creatures. Look at what he's doing to that stick. Guys, we are about 200 feet away from my building. Last time we measured, we've been using the measurement. We're right here at the highway in front of my house. We're still getting the measurement. As you can see, the 48.8, the measurement is going downward. Now we could try to walk a little farther, see how far we can get. The experiment we did with the SC57 and the wireless transmitter, we went about 400 feet and still got a signal. So let's give that a shot. <laughs> Guys, we were standing right there in my driveway and we've gone about another, you can see, 30 foot or so. So we've done all right. Let's say it's about 200 to 250 feet. That's a good estimate. We had the signal. Well, we just lost it again. It comes back, it go, comes and goes. But you can see we've gone a long way. Daddy, it's showing it opposite. Like it doesn't look like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't talk during the video either. It picks it up. I'm doing a video. You're fired. You're the worst little girl in the whole world. Yes. I might make bloopers at the end. Here's the wireless transmitter here and the index micrometer head. And you can broadcast from this wireless transmitter to either one of these meter, meter, meters. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to do a grandpa voice. I don't know. <laughs> Are you washing me with a stick? <laughs> yes, boy. You want it? Insanity.